2NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. You know, I never thought we'd reach a period where you'd come in and talk about golf, but you can find physics in everything. I, I played golf while I was on holidays and I had the best game of golf I've ever had in my life. I had three consecutive pars, a four, a three and a five, and I had another par later in the game and I didn't lose a golf ball. So you can imagine I'm feeling pretty cock a hoop today. Are, are you a golfer? No, I'm not, uh, and, and uh, I, I think one of the reasons would be, uh, you know, golfers tend to get carried away with the game. <laughs> now, look, are, are you uh, suggesting I'm a little bit excited? <laughs> look, I think there's a certain age where people get to whether they the t- either talk about golf or their grandchildren. <laughs> I don't have any grandkids. There That's you right. go. There you go. I just picked it. <laughs> Nailed it in one. All right. So no, I'm not a golfer, and, and so, yeah, this is a bit of a challenge for me talking about this, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of science in golf. Uh, and, you know, the dimples on the ball, there's some really good science around that but the the thing that got this uh, brought this to my attention i thought people might be interested in is because um there was a a physics student in the u.s who uh, who who played who changed his clubs in a way i don't think it's unique because i've actually found on the web other people have uh, advocated the same thing but it's actually done him wonders i mean what he's done is most of his clubs are all the same length and their head is all exactly the same weight. Okay, so as we know, if you're, if you're a golfer, you know, as you move up to the higher clubs, they generally become shorter. You tend to bend your knees a little bit, which is great for radio. Yep, and, the, and, and then the weight of the, the head changes too. So all of this is designed to change the, the range that you can hit the ball. And, uh, but in this particular case, he's opted to try and get them all the same in terms of length and weight, just so that every time, no matter what, what club he's using he's using the same swing now there must be something in it because he la- he won last year's u.s amateur championship uh which got him into the masters uh he won uh the ncaa 2015 individual title and uh and only uh, four previous players have done both of that jack nicholas tiger woods phil nicholson and ryan moore and if you're a golfer those names mean something to you. So they're, they're the only people who have actually achieved that double. So he's, he's on a good track. And so he, um, I think he's ranked about 150 in the world now. Oh, it's better than me. Yeah. Better. Slightly. <laughs> I'm not even in the race. So <laughs> I don't have a ticket in this game. So, so, he's, yeah, so but he did have to change the head slightly. He and his coach worked on this. And so they had to change the angle slightly of the head by about one degree. Okay. Um, and... You know, some of the professionals say, well, he's because he's done this, he's going to lose 15 metres on his drive oh, in some God, cases. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of um, 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 witchcraft in this. Oh, it's uh, a black art. I, the, the, <laughs> I, saw, I saw a report about, you know, these claims that you should get the, um, the, the Teflon-coated um, tees and, and the, the profession, oh, sorry, the, the, the scientists say, well, if you look at the amount you lose in coming off the tee, it's not going to make any difference. The difference between each swing is going to be greater than that. So, yeah, there's things like that that you know, become part of a mythology that some people start to believe. And, uh, but in this case, it seems to have been really good for this guy. Um, and uh, uh, I, I've seen reports that other people have adopted this as well. So it means that you, know, you play the same stroke, no matter which iron you're using. It's got the same weight. It's got the same feel. It's interesting thought. It's, it's interesting. What and about balls and, well, and the dimples? Yeah. Well, in fact, that, that was really interesting because that was, um, that was initially uh, a, a, a serendipitous discovery. People found that uh, they used to have perfectly round balls. Mm. And they found that the battered old balls went further than the brand new ones. And after a bit of uh, investigation, they found that if you put dimples in the ball, they go further. Now, they only go further, really, because A, they've got dimples, and B, because the ball spins. And what happens, the way the, bin, the, the ball spins, uh, the dimples actually get the air to drag with it. So it means it drags the air around the ball and directs it downwards. So it's a little bit like some wings, where the yes, wings are designed yep. to push the air down. Now, pushing the air down means that it gets a lift upwards. So by having the dimples on the ball and spinning the ball, you get lift, which means it goes further. And if you can actually see a ball from, from the side, you'll actually see it. It almost seems to, to float for a while, and then once this effect starts to drop off, it, it falls fairly quickly. Um, <clears throat> but then you start to wonder, how many dimples are you allowed? Or how, well, oh, how, what, no. how many dimples 
is, is you know, is well, legal. Yeah. Well, that's that's why they've actually brought in uh, a legality about it. There's only a certain number of dimples you can have on the ball because you, if you start playing around with too many of them, you might get an unfair advantage. Do you know what you need to understand about golf? They never tell you what you can do. Golf is all about what you can't do. Well, the question is also raised about this particular case: Is it legal to have all of these golf clubs this same size and the same weight? And the answer is. Yes, they only have to be between one length and another length. It's a range that given. So all of these clubs are legal because that was the first question that someone raised. Of course, that when it comes yeah. to golf, yeah, they're, <laughs> That's right. they're cheating. Yes, they're yeah. cheating because <laughs> they're doing better than me. <laughs> they and you must know what? Be. I'm, next time I step up to the tee, I'm going to be thinking about this. I'm going to be counting my dimples, measuring my length, and, and I'm going to be thinking about the physics because I think I'm going to take it to a new, a new level. Well, th there's certainly a lot of books out there you can read. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of them are, are right. I play golf with a mate of mine who you, he, he annoys me because you're walking around and go, have you got the 15 and a half degree seven? I'm like, I don't know. It's got seven on it. And, and people say, oh, how far is it to the hole? I don't know. I'm going to take a guess on you this You don't club. have a laser ranger yet? Not yet. But I tell you what, I'm off to the golf store. <laughs> when we get, what time am I finishing? <laughs> Professor John O'Connor, why don't you come and have a game of golf with me one day? Uh, I might be tempted. We'll see. I think that's. I, a no I, I tend to slice and hook too much when I practice, though. I think that's a no in Professor Speak. <laughs> we'll have a chat to you in a couple of weeks. Two at your RFM one hundred three point seven.